Catherine, thank you. Well, Terror 29 is hosting Spook Show Tour, and joining me to tell us more about it is Zach Tenebo, owner of Terror 29. Hello. Hey, yes. Tell, Good morning. Good morning. Tell us all about this. Yeah, so mm -hmm. when we last met in May, yeah. we had just had our halfway to Halloween. We opened our retail store, and I said that there was something else up our sleeve. This was it. Mm -hmm. It's a spook show tour. It's about 40 minutes long, really interactive, kind of an immersive experience. It's limited to only 13 people per tour and you kind of get a behind the scenes access of the haunted house that we run in October. And then we have stories and secrets that we reveal about Brandon, South Dakota's Spook Road. Okay, how spooky is this gonna be? What ages would you recommend? Um, so we kind of recommend 13 or older, okay. um, kind of uh, there's a lot of story and monologues throughout. So young kids might get bored, but it's definitely not scary. There's not live actors like in the haunted house mm -hmm. in October. Uh, some more of, there are some scary jump scare moments, but it's definitely nothing like Halloween or October. Yeah, what's been kind of the feedback with people hearing about this and you kind of announcing this? Yeah, so all of it's been cool. The retail store last we talked, I was like, mm -hmm. I'm not sure how's it gonna go. Uh, and people showed up every single Saturday and purchased products. It's been cool to meet the community. And uh, we just had our first Spook Show tour this past Saturday. And it was cool when it was all said and done, I was behind the walls and was able to hear their reactions and them talking about it. And I was like, yes, we did it. <laughs> yeah. Is this something you see that's gonna be really popular, maybe to do things year round for people and kind of have that spooky season maybe all year? Yeah, so that's definitely the goal. Uh, it'll be every Saturday now, uh, from now until October, we'll probably take a break during the haunted house season because we're so busy with that, with the live actors. And then we'll bring it back in November and December and just kind of see how it goes. We might be able to do a Friday and a Saturday or two shows on a Saturday, depending on the demand. But yeah, right now we're just doing Saturdays at eight o'clock. Yeah, and how can people find out more information about um, So yeah, terror29.com, uh, there's tickets, they go fast. There's only four actually available for tomorrow already because uh, there's only 13 people per tour. Uh, the way that it's designed, we're in kind of small rooms. I can't fit more than 13 people through at a time. Uh, so they go quick, four tickets for tomorrow. August 24th is almost sold out. I think August 17th has some available. So terror29.com. Okay, what else can people kind of expect, you know, from the retail side and kind of all of that you guys have? Um, yeah, so we're constantly adding more products. I have another shipment coming on Tuesday, I believe, to fill the store with more new stuff and to keep ramping up. So September actually will be open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from noon to eight. So we'll extend our hours at the store to be competitive with like Spirit Halloween, Halloween Express. Uh, and then there'll be stuff more for home haunters as well, like fog machines, fog juice, if you need makeup, special effects, latex, we'll okay. have that in there as well. And a little bit of magic as well. Yeah, yeah. so the, the tour it does incorporate magic and freak show stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, uh, like the past couple days, I was like, I should try to perform something this morning. And even as the last night, I was like, do I do a coin trick, a card trick, or something with tarot cards maybe, because mm -hmm. the show is spooky. Uh, and I fell asleep not really deciding what to do, <laughs> um, but I had a crazy dream. I was in Dallas, Texas, and I heard a gunshot, and as soon as I saw President John F. Kennedy's assassination, the dream flashed. Now I was in a pub in England, and sitting next to me was Jack the Ripper. And I looked at the bartender, he had like a copper penny. He says, heads you live, tails you die. He flips it in the air. And before it lands, the dream flashes. And I'm in China, out of all places. <laughs> and they're building the Great Wall. And the wall comes tumbling down on me. And that moment happened. I woke up, and I realized on my nightstand from last night were three coins that I was practicing a trick for, a Kennedy half dollar, an English copper penny, <laughs> and a Chinese coin, you know, the ones with like the hole in it. Okay. But that actually scared me so much that I woke up again <laughs> and realized I hadn't woke up the first time, but this morning I was too afraid to check the nightstand. So I could still be dreaming, oh but gosh. if I was to bring one, <laughs> one coin with me, the Kennedy half dollar, the English copper penny, or the Chinese coin, the one with the hole in it, which of those stories would terrify you the most? Oh, the Kennedy one. The Kennedy, yeah. so we're gonna <laughs> take the Chinese one, we'll get rid of that. That one didn't scare okay. you. We'll take the English copper penny, we'll get rid of that. That didn't scare you, which would mean well, that the can't. only coin that I brought with me today would be what? the Kennedy half dollar. Um, this what? is kind of terrifying. I'll keep this nightmare with me, but I do Ooh. hope that everyone will check out the Terra 29 Spook Show Tour. Saturdays, 8 o'clock, terra29.com. That's it.
Wow, that I'm kind of mind blown. I kind of want to know how you did that. But you, a good musician magi can never yeah. reveal their yeah. secrets. Yeah, so come to the freak show and you'll see more. Awesome. There's magic and freak show stunts in there as well. Perfect. Well, thanks for being here this yeah, morning. Yeah, thank you so much. And we'll be right back after the break.